Well guys, yes, we did it. We have just pre-ordered and put our order in for a brand new 2021 Ram TRX. In this video, I wanted to tell you why we did it, why we ordered the TRX, and also which one, exactly which truck we ordered. So I wanna show it to you right here on the online configurator. And But first, before I do, I wanna let you know exactly what we're doing. Um, if you've been following TFL Truck and TFL Studios for a while, you know that we've been fortunate. A lot of you guys watch our videos, a lot of you guys support us. We have really good partners as well and sponsors that we work with throughout our channel's network. And that allows us to purchase at least one truck every year. This year in 2020, in the beginning of the year, we purchased three trucks, not one, but we got a Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, we got a Chevy Silverado Trail Boss, and we also got a Ford F250 FX4 edition. Well, next year in 2021, TRX is gonna be part of the mix. Why? Because it's a very unique, very special truck. And if you look at what we're doing, uh, we bought you know, the first Gladiator that when it came out, Rubicon. We got Trail Boss because it's the most off-road worthy Chevrolet Silverado. And of course we got the Ford F250 because of its engine, the 7.3 liter. All those were unique. And before that, we also had other trucks like the original Ford Raptor. And this truck just blew past all of the benchmarks that we know of. So we want to have it long term. We want to use it. We want to tow with it. We want to go off road in every condition and actually test it. Here's a question. What are you supposed to do when you've got a cool old truck like Project Gunsmoke with no stereo in it? Well, rather than buy a cheesy aftermarket head unit, you could get yourself a Cove Commuter 2 split. I've been enjoying this Bluetooth speaker for a while now, and it sounds surprisingly rich and deep with its tones. It definitely sounds better than the factory stereo in this truck ever did. Take a listen. And when paired to my phone, it allows me to call hands-free with its built-in mic. Now check this out. Normally, this speaker gives you 360 degree surround sound, but when you split it into two parts, you get two speakers for a true stereo sound experience, which means you're getting two speakers for just over $200. The water resistant Cove commuter will last up to seven hours on a single charge, which means there's no need to drain your vehicle's battery at a campsite or at a tailgate. So if you're tired of muddy audio on your old truck or car, or you just wanna upgrade your desktop or backyard sound system, click on the link in the description below and get over 64% off this bad boy by using the code FLT64. So I'm here on remtrucks.com and uh, already the configurator is open, so you can see that you can order basically all the different trucks that Ram currently offers. And the base price on the TRX is currently about 70 grand. So, uh, the team got together, uh, Roman and Nathan and I and Case and the rest of the team, uh, we got together and we started thinking which TRX should we buy. We, we know we want one because it has a supercharged Hemi V8 engine 702 horsepower crazy torque 650 pound feet it's a badass truck it's got a full new chassis it's got the Bilstein suspension shocks and uh, all the travel everything but we didn't we decided not to get the the launch edition the launch edition currently is also um, people are able to order it but um, it's also the most expensive and a highly optioned truck. Um, these trucks can be configured to upwards of $100,000 with every option. And that's because they also have a lot of uh, luxury features, convenience features, uh, heads up display and uh, giant panoramic sunroof and the rest of it. We didn't want that. So what we chose was the TRX level one, which is currently the lowest group you can get. Uh, we were also told there's a, also a TRX uh, kind of level zero, so to speak. Uh, very, very basic truck with cloth seats, uh, but that's not available right now. We want to be one of the first to actually get the truck, so which is why we are ordering it the first day uh, this week when the truck is launching. So we decided to get one of the more basic trucks because for several reasons. 
first of all, it's a little bit more affordable. It's a little bit, um, uh, you know, just kind of fits what we want to do, but also it's going to be a little bit more lightweight. And by, but that's very important on many aspects, um, off-road, towing, hauling, all of that stuff. And you can see level one has a few options, but this is what caught our eye. Heated front seats, heated steering wheel right here. Uh, we're in Colorado. Uh, we have really cold uh, winter months, especially when we film up in the mountains and we will be taking this truck into the snow, um, into uh, all kinds of cold conditions. Uh, that's really nice to have. Also leather trimmed interior and the steering wheel and you're purchasing a pretty expensive truck. So we thought that this package was justified at 3,420 bucks. Uh, level one equipment package so we check marked it and by the way we already submitted this order via our dealer uh, we work with Johnson Auto Plaza here in Brighton Colorado and the guys over there are very very helpful and we've been working with them for years so next up of course was the color choice uh, we were thinking this is the launch edition color so that's not what we got uh, we were considering between the white the red and the blue really and um, the red and the blue are better best for filming when you purchase some sort of a you know more of a gray color or a black uh, it's really hard to film because there's a lot of reflections you can't quite see all the body lines on the truck or any vehicle for that matter so uh, are we with a toss-up between a red and blue um, in the end, after lots of arguments with Roman, Nathan, and the rest of the team, uh, we settled on red, flame red. So we checkmarked that, and it's also a two-tone color, so it's not a monotone. So it's actually an additional cost, about 250 bucks, um, to actually get the um, red color in this case. Then, we also had a huge argument about exterior graphics, but in the end we decided to choose them. So let me try to show that to you right here on this truck as I try to expand this image. So this is basically the truck we ordered. And then, so the exterior um, also comes with the TRX badging on the bed sides and also a badge on the hood. And we decided, um, I was kind of against it, uh, but I was outvoted by the rest of the team because they felt that, you know, this truck needs to be really really look like the movie star that it should be and so we decided to add some accents to it and make it really pop so but you notice the bed is fully open there's no bed liner on this particular truck so we have to keep going and check a couple of other options i'm not sure why it's not letting me choose this one hold on add there we go. Now that's more in line with what we have. Next up, and I'm almost done, uh, bed utility group. We got that for $8.45. It has adjustable cargo tie downs, but most importantly, spray and bed liner. It also has a pickup a truck box lights, which is handy. Deployable bed step. Guys, this truck has 11.8 inches of ground clearance and deployable bed step included in this package it's, it's going to be handy to climb up into the bed load and unload stuff because we use all these trucks daily or weekly and you know sometimes we go got to go to the tire store bring tires for another project do some work so it's really important to, for this truck to actually be useful as a truck we chose that so we chose the bed utility group so next up i had to get this you know i love towing right i gauntlet all that stuff Trailer tow group with a trailer brake control and light check and tire pressure monitoring system for your trailer. That's basically to enable it to do all that stuff and properly control your trailer. Maximum towing is 8,100 pounds, which is pretty, you know, pretty good for an off-road truck. It's not, you know, obviously uh, like a main work truck, but, but for an off-roader that can go 118 miles an hour on dirt, uh, 8,100 pounds of towing is just fine. I did not choose tow mirrors because I think this truck is so wide already so that you know we'll, we have actually uh, a fairly good vision from the standard mirrors and the towing mirrors are a little bit too bulky for this giant truck. So we decided, I decided to stay 
with regular mirrors on the side, regular wheels, no bead locks. Maybe we can upgrade to that later. No running boards or side steps, maybe we can upgrade that later. We're trying to keep the price, trying to keep the price as low as possible. Uh, then finally, there's one more thing we chose. No sun, panoramic sunroof, we don't need that. No interior accents, um, we didn't choose any of this. But uh, we do like blind spot monitoring and cross path detection. And especially for a white truck like this that's got big fenders, and especially for, uh, when we're gonna be towing, which we go to Moab quite a lot, and that's a long way. Uh, so we chose blind spot detection, which works with trailering and also trailer reverse steering control, which is now a new knob um, system. It will load up here in a second, right here. Uh, which allows you to actually use the knob to steer the truck when backing up with the trailer and it works automatically. No stickers, no measurement, no you know complications. Uh, Ram engineers tell us that um, you can see this knob is in the center of the center console. Uh, Ram engineers tell us that it uses cameras and other sensors on the back of the truck to estimate the, you know, pretty closely to how wide and long the trailer actually is when you give it steering input. And once it learns that trailer, after you go maybe in a circle once, after it learns that trailer, now you can use that actual knob to back it in. So we wanted to test the system because it's the first for Ram. So that's why we chose it. So in the end, that's basically it. So we didn't go for suede interiors. We didn't go for special editions. We didn't even sur choose surround view cameras. We tried to keep it as basic as we could within the parameters that we were working with um, and actually as capable and as fast as we could. And the final damage that we will have to pay soon is 79,000. Um, so hopefully, you know, uh, we can actually work with the guys at Johnson Auto Plaza and um, hopefully we can work it out in such a way that we can get this truck early and without uh, hopefully any markups, which I think we can actually manage. And um, so what do you guys think? Did we make the right decision? Did we configure the correct truck for the TRX? Um, are you guys excited as we are? Obviously we are, and we don't know exactly what month we can get this. Hopefully, they said this year, before December, end of December. So I'm hoping a little bit sooner, maybe November, October. Ram, please, if you're, you know, if you're watching, let us know um, exactly when we could get this truck. So it's 180 grand. Yes, it's very expensive, but we'll be trading trucks in. So we'll probably um, try to take the three trucks we have this year and probably trade at least one of them. Maybe it's gonna be the F-250 going in for the Ram transfer, or maybe even like the Jeep or the Chevy. So, so stay tuned for that, but I'm pretty excited and thanks you for watching and thanks to all our partners for supporting us.